Hello and welcome to the Clear English Corner. I'm Keenan, your personal American English pronunciation coach. And in this lesson, we're talking about another distinctly American sound, the American R. Now this sound can be a little bit tricky, and in order to make things as simple and straightforward as possible, I'm going to break the er lessons into three parts and three different videos. In this lesson, we're going to talk about er at the beginning of words. We're also going to talk in depth about what you need to do with your lips and tongue in order to make this sound. In lesson number two, we'll talk about er at the end of syllables and the end of words. In lesson number three, we'll talk about er at the end of syllables and the end of words when it follows a vowel sound. So in lesson three, we're talking about vocalic or vowel colored R. You can get to each of these separate lessons by clicking on the tags that are floating above my head, and I will also share links to these lessons in the video description. Here on the Clear English Corner, we're talking about all things American English pronunciation related. So if this is something you're studying and looking to perfect, you have found the right channel. So be sure to subscribe and tap the bell so that you'll receive notifications anytime a new lesson is published. All right, so let's dive in to er at the beginning of words. We're going to talk about three things when we talk about how to make this sound. We're going to talk about what you're doing with your tongue, what you're doing with your lips, and finally the tension that's involved in making this sound. Let's talk about what you're doing with the tongue. You want the sides of your tongue to be touching the inside of your back top teeth. Now, if you're not sure what I mean, try doing the vowel sound E. E. When you make the E sound, the sides of your tongue are pressed against the inside of your back top molars, the back top teeth. Try it with me. E. E. Do you feel how the sides of your tongue are pressing against your upper teeth? E. E. You can actually use the E sound to work into the er by saying the word ear, like this thing on the side of my head. Ear, ear. That E sound can help you get your tongue in the right position. Okay, so the sides of your tongue are pressed against your back top teeth. What is the tip of your tongue doing? This can be the source of some of the confusion with R because you'll hear some people talk about the tongue tip being up and others will talk about the tongue tip being down. The fact is Native American English speakers use both of these positions in order to articulate the R sound and they're both correct. When I'm coaching my students, I encourage them to go for the position where the tongue tip is up. And I do this for two reasons. Number one, it's easier to articulate the sound this way. And if we're already having a little trouble with the sound, why make it more difficult than it needs to be? A second reason is a lot of you are already articulating this sound or approximating this sound with the tongue tip up. So it makes sense to start from there. Okay, so the tongue tip is up, but here's the key. You wanna make sure that your tongue tip is not touching anything on the upper mouth. It's not touching the back of your teeth, it's not touching the alveolar ridge, and it's not touching the roof of your mouth. There's space between the tip of your tongue and the top of your mouth as you make the er sound. I actually like to use a spoon to demonstrate the position of the tongue for making the er sound. So it's like you're making a small spoon shape with your tongue. The sides of the tongue are pressed against the back top teeth. The tip of the tongue is curled up, but not touching anything, just pointing up slightly, pointing toward the alveolar ridge, but not touching it. The tongue shape is making just a small little bowl, like this shape of this spoon. Another sound that you can use to help you work towards the R sound is the shh sound. When you do the shh sound, your sides of your tongue are pressed against the back top teeth, the tip of your tongue is up and pointed towards the alveolar ridge, but it's not touching it or tapping it at all. Shh. 
So you can try the word sure. 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 Okay, so now that we know what our tongue is doing, what are the lips doing for this sound? The lips for er, especially at the beginning of words, are rounding out. The corners are coming in and the lips are pushing out away from the teeth. Er. Er. Okay, we've talked about the tongue position and the lip position for this sound. Let's talk about the tension. When we talk about tension, what I mean is your jaw, your tongue, and your lips are tight for this sound. This is different than compared to say an n or ul sound. For both the n or in, ul, or L sounds, the jaw is relaxed, the tongue is up, connecting with the alveolar ridge, but it's not tense, it's more relaxed. And the lips are not rounding at all for those sounds, they're relaxed. Oh, mm. Very different for the er sound where our jaw tenses up, the tongue is tense and pulled back, and the lips are rounded and tense. Er, er. Can you see the difference there? Okay, so just a recap. The tongue, the sides of the tongue are pressed against the back top teeth. The tip of the tongue is pointed up towards the alveolar ridge, pointed up, but not touching it, not connecting with anything at the top of the mouth. The lips are rounding out, and the jaw, tongue, and lips are tense. So let's practice this sound in some words. As you're practicing this sound, I encourage you to stretch the sound out, which is helpful for a couple of reasons. First, if you're trilling the sound, you're not going to be able to hold that sound out. So if you can stretch the sound, you know you're getting the American R. Also, by stretching the sound out, it gives your ear a chance to hear when you're hitting that American R sound. All right, so let's practice this sound in some words together. Here we go. Read. Read. I love to read. Really. Really. Really easy. It's really easy. Ready, ready. Are you ready? Right, right. Got it right. You've got it right. Awesome practice. If you're looking for a little more practice with this sound, I've got a word list for you. 100 common American English words with er at the beginning. You can get your list by clicking on the link in the video description. That's a wrap for our lesson on er at the beginning of words. Remember, there's two more lessons coming. Er at the end of syllables and words and also vocalic are. So be sure to tune into those lessons so you have the full scoop on this sound in American English. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.